All right, so let's do another example for chi-square test for independence. So let's let me give you a sample. So four rows and three columns here. Ten. So this is observed. Okay, and our we want to show that the row and the columns are dependent. So that's our alternate hypothesis, and the null hypothesis always is the opposite of the alternate hypothesis. So null hypothesis says they're independent. Okay, so we need to calculate the expected values for all 12 entries. So let's do that. One, two, three, four rows and three columns. So before that, we need to calculate the totals of the rows and the columns in the original observed values. So let me write down that for you. 66. Uh, 402, 402, 32, 32, and the total total is 500. So before we calculate expected values, we need to convert all these into percentages because that's what we need. So this is 24%, this is 40%, this is 20%, this is 16%, and this is 13.2%, this is 80.4%, this is 6.4%. All right, so to calculate the expected values of the entries, so for example, if we want to do the first row, first column, first row is 24%, first column is 13.2%, so it's 24% times 13.2%. So that's uh, 24% times 13.2% is 3.168%, which uh, converts to 15.84 in counts. So you multiply by 500 to get accounts. So let's do this one, third column and third row. So third row is 20%, third column is 6.4%. So the expected value is 20% times 6.4%, 6, 6 which is 1.28%. Uh, if you multiply by 500, it's 6.4 is the count. And I'm not going to bore you with the rest of the calculations. I'm going to write it down. So this is 94 point four eight, ninety six point four eight, seven point six eight, twenty six point four, one sixty point 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 eight, twenty six point four, it's our test statistic. So chi square is the sum of e, uh, technically, o minus e square over e. So for example, the first term is going to be 10 minus 15.84 square over 15.84, and there it's going to be 12 terms. The last term is going to be 10 minus 5.12 square over 5.12. And calculator. Anything. This is equal to 15.5844. And the degree of freedom is the number of rows minus 1, which is 4 minus 1, times the number of columns minus 1, which is 3 minus 1. So this is equal to 3 times 2, which is 6. So degree of freedom is 6, and this is our value of chi square. So if you look at the table here, Degree of freedom is 6, chi square is equal to 15.5844. That's between these two values. So that means our p value is between these two values. So p is between 0 0.025 and 0 0.01. In particular, p is less than 0 0.05, so we can reject h0 at 5% level and, and uh, conclude conclude that the rows and columns are dependent. 
All right, so that's it for section 6.10.